and all the regional planning commissions are working on their individual regional plans at the same time. And uh, what we're doing is we're collaborating, sharing information, sharing data. If, if, if that, I mean, uh, it's, it's a public meeting. It's, it's a not, public it's not, meeting. It's not, it's, not a public meeting. It's, it's, not a, it's not a public meeting. It is a public meeting. No, I don't give you permission to videotape. You don't have that. You, don't, you can't say is what this, is this your meeting? meeting? You're getting it's paid by public. It's an open house. It's an open house. It's open for everybody to see it. It's an open house. Come you're paid by you're paid by you're paid by tax dollars. Is anyone here saying for him to shut it off other than you? Uh, well, I'm the only one that's getting it. The, the right. Yeah, I'm the only. I mean, I seem to be the target of his. Uh, well, we'll take all the of his, uh, Thanks. So I'd be happy to just answer any questions, but would you please back down from the uh, the video paper? Are you afraid to be videotaped? No. I, well, let's I videotape wanna, I just wanna, then. I just want to have a. Let's videotape all of this. I feel like I'm getting I mean, you like videotape. These are citizens. We're it's we're paying. We pay your salary. salary. So we're we're your salary. put your bed down yeah. and let them take you. We pay your salary. Why would you be upset at this? All I'm it's saying is that you're making a bigger to do about this. No, no, it's a problem. You're, 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 you're making a big to do. We're here. We got questions. We want to hear what you well, have to say. Well, as you present, can we can we can we watch as you as you're presenting the uh, information? But your presentation, you don't you don't want us to see what you're presenting? No, I want you to do it. Why not? Because I want you to get as much information as you possibly can. Well, we want to be able to, to just see what you've had to say. To have, you need to have permission from people in, in, in non-public meetings in order to video that. So that's right. That's right. That's that I'd like you just to respect. I guess I'm just looking I'd for like that. you to respect you're, us. You're, you're, you want to respect us, too. We want to videotape it. Well, I have, a, I have a positive. I have something positive to say. Yeah. This is much better than Stratford Regionals, the way you did it here, because we had it set up like an actual meeting where you have to sit here and you know do a, a but it's good you had it yeah how you're doing it like this like an open house where you're going from station to station it, it, it's very good good, good. all right we'll start with this station then we can move right. on so this is the overview on the grand state future and the grand state future project, project like i said are all of the communities working together um in each one of the individual regions to develop a regional plan and we can develop a plan that can have major components be a vision statement. Um, there will be a story. So we take all the information that we have collected and put it into the form of a story. And we have a, a prioritized uh, list of that have emerged out of the planning process that are priorities for the plan. That's kind of like the core of our plan. Attached to it as a form of appendices will be, will be these technical components. And each one of the technical components are, are listed here. And today, you have three of, um, on the first floor and three upstairs uh, display stations that have each one of these uh, elements. So we have Probably transportation, housing, and climate change upstairs, along with the hot food. If you haven't been upstairs yet, I encourage you to go upstairs. Uh, downstairs, we have the uh, economic development and broadband and the natural resources uh, section as well. And, um, those are those are the uh, those are the three stations that we have downstairs, and the broadband is part of economic development. This is on on uh, natural uh, resources. Our environment is not uh, a man today because that individual is unable to be here. With us. What does that mean? Housing needs assessment. I got a new idea. Would you speak up a little bit? If, a housing the, needs assessment. What is that? The, ho the housing needs assessment is a uh, an assessment that's done for the regional needs uh, uh, for housing for all uh, income groups around the, around the uh, in, our, in the Lakes region. Uh, like Which is an RSA, an RSA, actually, that's one of your tasks that's that you of, have to of, actually that's, do. That's a mandated task mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the RSA. Okay, okay. Housing inequity. so, and each, and we have the housings upstairs, and, I, and there's more, <laughs> there's examples of what a housing needs assessment looks like uh, okay. upstairs, and the individual that actually worked on our latest one it's not like the is also upstairs. Today, though, is it? Um, it's, it's it's variable for yeah. any number for of, of, of folks uh, in terms of housing, um, but the, it, it really takes into address housing needs uh, for all uh, income groups. Can I say yeah. something? We have a housing, like you said, the housing for economically, um, the working people they called it. Workforce housing? Workforce yeah. housing, and now we see all these for rent. Yep in our area because all of those apartments are empty now because of the people are going to what the government has 
built apparently. Subsidized housing. And so all the private houses that people own are going empty. Ah. So that, that, you know, that kind That's of the plan. Uh, assessment <laughs> would be picked up in your housing needs assessment part. Like the, research, the, the, the research for, for doing that it wasn't too long ago when housing was uh, in strong uh, viewed as being a uh, uh, something that we really needed to work more on in, in the Lakes region because of the affordability gap between people, yeah, or the house now, that they can afford and the amount that the they can pay. Now the private owners have all these empty apartments around town. All you do is see for rents <laughs> everywhere because... I've heard recently that the housing market's improving. So yeah, maybe, the, maybe, 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 maybe the economy's uh, getting better. Uh, but anyway, this this like in Russia? Yeah. this uh, yeah. this East Berlin. these are yeah. to get more information about each one of these. I encourage you to go and see the work that we've been doing in other areas on the display stations. Uh, we have again three on the first floor and three up on the second floor. You get into more detail on that. What we've been doing so far uh, are, are, is education and sessions like this, and in, in, in other forms where we've been trying to get we've been we've been trying to get information regarding what people think is best about the Lakes Region and what people think will make it better. Those are, those have been two jump into two, two questions. Point. Yes, sir. Are you going to go out to each of the individual communities that are a part of the Lakes Region Planning Commission, your memberships, and ask them to put them in education that, no, that of what Grand State Future is? No, you can put that down. Uh, and then solicit feedback? We've, 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 we've got any number of different approaches to try to get people's opinions on things. We'll certainly go out to, to any meeting that we set up or are invited to attend to talk so, uh, at, by the, so at the planning board. At the planning board, we're going to have a strategy just now where you, you would go out to each today. of the planning boards, each of the select boards, we, we, and, and, and actually have an interactive one-on-one -on -one with not, them. Not with all 30 communities, we don't. Not to go out and you, in each one, but we are thinking of having a, a one time where you invite what? them to your location. Then. Well, this okay. is one event. Sure? This is one event that's going on right now. We. Do have uh, uh, we'll have a number of sub-regional uh, meetings as well, mm -hmm. uh, visioning sessions where they'll be well advertised and, and people will be able to get their input. Yep. Is that New Hampshire listens? Uh, no, that's the car in, in addition to New Hampshire listens. Okay. Um, that just stri it, it strikes me as very informal. And for, for such oh, a we, we, got, we, got, we got one other thing. Let me okay. finish. We're also doing with the UNH Survey Center right here. We're going to do a statistically valid uh, survey at the 95% confidence interval uh, where we are going to, where the UNH Survey Center is going to go out and ask questions uh, once the questions have been developed, which I think is going to be in the next two months. That, that's the thing, I mean, asking people for their opinion when they haven't actually been given all of the information, pro and con, well, it is going to give you skewed results. I, I, it, we, we also it just strikes me as being somewhat informal, the, the, the relationship of what, what Lakes Region Planning Commission thinks Grand Estate Future is yeah. and can be, and, and getting that, obviously there's, there's a lot of people who think negatively about it. Yes. And, and, they're, and they're working very hard to get their their viewpoint out. And I'm not seeing the Lakes Region Planning Commission working as aggressively to put forward their position. And, and then you say, well, we're going to have a survey, but... Our, our, our position is to be uh, all-inclusive. Okay, that's our, that's that's our that's that's our overall position, and we are doing our outreach in numerous ways. Okay, and which and, and, and we don't have a pre predefined position. And, and, and our, our 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 effort is to be get to learn what your opinions are. Okay, that's and that's that's a positive shape, statement. To have it shape what. Answers to questions like this: What do you like best about the Lakes Region? Well, these are over 100 responses that we received from the suggestion boxes that we had and other events that we attended. And the bigger the the bigger the the, the word, the more frequent that came up. So, what do people like best about the Lakes Region? Mountains, lakes, the beauty, the people, the ruralness, the natural environment. People love that. This doesn't surprise me a whole lot. I've been in this business. <laughs> yeah. for, for a long time. What would make the Lakes Region even better? 
those same responses were uh, public. And I'm saying, what, what public? we got to define that. What, are they, what do people want more better? Is it public transportation? Is it public housing? Uh, what, is it, what is it that they're looking for? But this forms the, 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 the beginning of uh, information that we can then incorporate along with we are going to have one of those uh, listening sessions, listening sessions down in, in Dover May, in May. Well, my area, it's Dover. Well, we're going to have one in the Lake Region. There's a there's a flyer on the table over there. So you, what I'm hearing is that you at, at this point in time you have not. And when I say you, I mean Lake Region, Planning, Lake Region Commission Planning Commission has not made a determination to sign on to being a part of Granite State Future. To be a what? To be a part of this project, this initiative. What, what, what the Granite State Future project is the name that was given to uh, the New Hampshire name, the right. New Hampshire name yeah. that was given to the Sustainable Communities Initiative I hate that word. program mm -hmm. that the regional planning commissions applied for competitively a number of other organizations around the country to get the funding to be able to do our, our job. Through HUD. Each, each regional HUD, planning yeah. commission, each regional planning commission is required But you're not to obligated to going that route. What to, route? To going the route of seeking HUD monies. No, no, no. So you're not obligated to sign it. No on. obligation. No. Right. No. So no. at this, so at this point in time, what I'm hearing you say is we're still at the the foundational part of seeking public comment, public input, to see if this is a direction that the public would support. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what this is all about. Because it's a lot of papers. That's a, big part, that's a big part of what it is. There's like so many yeah. papers you here, you you and you don't want to sign in. I don't want to be like Nancy Pelosi that says we got to join in and we got to sign it before we know what's in it. I don't want to go that route. I don't want to know. You know, I want to know what's in it before we sign into it. Everything. Would you take us to each one? Well, now that I, we're used to you, I, I gotta, you know I gotta, what I'm saying? Go, go, go and okay. go up. But please do. You mentioned hot food. Where are the stairs? Upstairs. Yeah, upstairs. but where are the stairs? You right there. Right there. Right. There's no beer. Right Is there beer? There's no, cold no beer. drinks. Okay. That's all I'm saying about it. But I haven't got to ask the question yet. This gentleman here had to stand up first. On your sign here, you've got all these things you like about the lakes region. I don't see anything there about the land rights on I'd like that to get added on. It might be in there. You can read some of these, but again, these are these are actual words taken from responses we received, put in from, the from responses we received oh, okay. from, from people like yourself. Live free or die. And this is these are the we, we put them in the scrambler yeah. and we said give us a picture of those words that were said most frequently. Well, I think the whole grand state future is in the scrambler. Did you did you get those things from the listening station? Um, that part of them is that where you got them from? Those and, and the website? Um, well, we, we populate our own website with the, what we receive from our classes and from uh, the public meetings we've had. So that's where, that's where that came from. And uh, hopefully at each station, let me tell you about the station. At each station there's an opportunity. The listening to, station. The, no, here. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. Here, today, tonight. At each, uh, at each one of the sections, transportation, housing, whatever, there's an opportunity for you to write down uh, answers to these questions. And we're going to put them, we'll keep them, we'll capture them, make them be part of the conversation. And there's also an opportunity for you, if you're interested, to sign up for being part of the committee to review. Who's the lady that said uh, she wanted to know what was in the plan? It was a lady here. Oh yeah. She may have she may have left. There she is. She's right there. But if she's interested in knowing, for instance, what's going on in housing, she could sign up to be in the housing section and get involved. Okay. Scoot in there. Oh, sure. Right in there. Thank you. And you're part of it. We don't have an agreement with HUD. None of them, only only national. Yeah, but you're only, a sub grantee. We don't we don't even interact with, with the HUD people. We don't we then don't, why are you we don't see, we, 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 Well, they're, they're providing the funding, Tim. Right, but so you're they're part providing the funding to do something that we're required to do. You're, it says right here that you're it says right here coordinating my event. It says it's a project among all of the regional planning commissions right. coordinated by Nashua. Right. Well, let, let, let me tell you. So let me don't tell you, say you're not involved in it. That 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 
document, that front page, I doubt, has uh, reference to the Granite State Future. Yes, it is. That's what this it, is. it has the sustainable this is the, communities. This it has is the grant document for the Granite I, State Future. I think we're splitting hairs here. No, we're not. But he doesn't see that. Only Nashua does. The, 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 Don't you think he should see this? We're, we're, splitting, we're splitting hairs on this. Hey, Jerry. Wait, wait, wait. Finish uh, right a second. I'm going to hear the rest of that. I'm going to hear the rest of that. I'm not finished yet. Come on. This, I thought this is an open house where we're supposed to discover the truth. Come on. I'm answering your question. Okay, well then let's do it. I'm giving you a chance. Let's do it. Let, let him, let let him finish what he's saying. That's what I want to say. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This, this is a statewide project in my office. The Grand State Future is the name right. that was used <coughs> by all the regional planning commissions to for the New Hampshire version of the Sustainable Communities Initiative. That's exactly right. But the Sustainable Communities Initiative program is not, the, is not I mean, we're playing on words in a way, but it's not the um, name of the federal program. The federal program is Sustainable Communities. It's the Sustainable Communities Initiative. And Which that, is a planning that's, grant. That's my point. And I think you like to make so many fine points, Tim, that I wanted to clarify. But that. That's fine. That's fine. But, here, but here's my question. So it says right here, on the continuation sheet, which Carrie signed, which is which is the Nashua, which is what we're talking about here. This is the Granite State Future. It says the Sustainable the Communities Initiative. We're talking about on this on this document here. This is the SCI contract, right? Okay. We have a contract with Nashua to basically do what I'm talking about here, which right. is develop our regional plan. Okay. Right. I'm gonna. Uh, this is pure supposition and conjecture right now. I'm I'm assuming that the HUD contract monitor is talking with uh, Nashua to make sure that the contract administration requirements of that transaction of over three million dollars of public money that's right, that's is right. those conditions are being met. Why that's right. Need HUD? And, and so that's where that's where that, that's where the HUD connection is. As far as we're concerned, it's with Nashua versus Okay, but here's my here's my question. Yeah, just the point, the point, an important clarification. What's okay, got it. So the question says right here it says the cooperative agreement allows for substantial involvement of HUD staff to enhance the performance of the grantee in completion of the deliverables. It says anticipated substantial involvement by HUD staff may include, but not be limited to. So in other words, this contract document, it's a completely open-ended document, and do you feel comfortable with that as the executive director of the Lakes Region Planning Commission? In other words, HUD's not telling you what they're going to make you do, and this program has mandatory outcomes. Okay. I interpret that differently than what you do. What, really? what, you, what, you, what, you, what you've concluded is, not, is different from the way I look at it. Okay. How do you interpret How do you look it? At HUD, HUD has the responsibility to and is willing to engage in a national and substantial way to uh, provide guidance and advice to uh, Nashua to, to meet the requirements that Nashua signed up for under the um, under the Sustainable Communities Initiative. And the nine and for the other for, No, 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 no. Well, no. what does what's for your contract say? For con for contract for contract compliance. So in that, terms this is of the contract. Right, that's this the is the contract, that's, right, and, and, right, that's, and that's and that's and it says right here the nine other the other planning. This is it. This, your first sentence says it all. Your first sentence ties you to this I, document. No, I I, I, I I answered that I answered that before. And I I understand that you're trying to make a relationship, te technical relationship that doesn't really exist. I mean, there is a separation between. So it's the grant the, money that you're talking about that's going to fund this. Does it come from this document or not? Where is the three million dollars you're talking about? Well, the, the, the money comes from, from so where? From HUD. Okay, we is, have, it, is, we it, have, is this the is have, this the money? But we don't. What we it, what it, we have is this the have, money? Th yeah, that, that this you is know, the, you know the answer to that question. I know I do. I, I want you to say that. in front of everybody. So yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, so, that, so this is however however the, there's a there's a there's a point of distinction, Tim, that you're refusing to want to listen to. I'm listening. And and I've said it a couple of times now. Do it again. Okay, that the Sustainable Communities Initiative Agreement is between HUD and the National Regional Planning Commission. This is what this document is. Right. They're going to they're going to be involved in a substantial way to make sure that the, that the contractual requirements are being met with Nashua. Only with Nashua, not with any there of the other ARPCs. Let me finish. But you're a subgrantee. Right, and w w we're a sub grantee with the National Regional Planning Commission. And, and, and the Granite State Future Project 
is not it's the name it's the name of this it's, it's, no it's the name of the effort the name of the effort the the name of the, the coordinated so plan the name of the coordinated planning effort that all of the RTCs are working under to update the regional plans. It's the New Hampshire name that was given to the Sustainable Communities Initiative. It was the New Hampshire name, but it's not this, uh, 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 It's not that we are tied through, all of us are tied to working with HUD on this. Can you prove that there to me? Are, in a, there, can there, you, there can you show that to me, can you show that to me in, a, in, a, in a legal document? Okay. Well, I saw it right here, right here. I'm, 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 this, so is, this, is, this is it. We, this is the document. See, show me where my name is on there. Show me, show me where the Lakes Region Planning Commission, the Stratford Regional Planning Commission, the North Country Council, where are their names on that document? I have a good, can I ask a question, Tim? Sure, go right ahead. My question would be is, if, let's say, Moulton Borough signs on to Granite State Future, and something what happens in... What do you mean they sign on? No, no, if they agree that they want to, uh, they want to participate in the grant funding. And let's just say if they, there's no there's no money going to any towns, and that all the money that we have is going to the regional planning commission. Okay. Oh, that, my question was, if the Lakes Region Planning Commission somehow does something improper and doesn't follow HUD's uh, National Regional Planning Commission's and HUD's requirements, who? Who makes sure you are doing what you're supposed to do? To make Is sure it Nashua? That we provide Nashua with the contractual needs that they need to have. Any, any RPC does. Mm -hmm. Nashua would let us know. So Nashua has to enforce what you're doing. So you don't you don't deal with that or HUD. You deal with Nashua. Right. But they're subject to that, and they're subject they, to HUD. Well, they have to. How do you escape that? We we will do. Uh, we will work to develop our region, that all of that, again, all of that, it's really important that everybody understand this, because I've been asked this question a lot by Tim Carter, and I, uh, since uh, over the last uh, five months anyway, and, uh, and I just want to, I guess I'll have to keep repeating it, but it's important to you to know that our uh, obligation, all the RPCs, is to develop uh, a regional plan. And the member towns right. submit representatives who are the board of directors, and they help us with the plan. Have you have you read all yes. these documents, Gerald? Right. So are you are you an attorney by any chance? No. You're not, okay. So do you know, are, I mean these are project so, managers. So so do you know what it says right here? It says this instrument is a legally binding agreement. So between between the Nashua Regional Planning Commission, here's Carrie Dare's signature and, and HUD. you and HUD, and you guys are sub grantees to this agreement by accepting the grant money. And so you then are legally obligated to produce the mandatory outcomes that are spoken of in all these other HUD documents. Well, the mandatory all, outcomes it, are a generic term. No, it's HUD, not generic. HUD is letting us do it the New Hampshire way. No. And then we're going <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> we're going oh, talk about naivety. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, no. Did you, did you <laughs> see, New Hampshire way. Did yeah. you see page three oh, of the continuation yeah. sheet? Right, yeah. Let me ask you the question then, too, in front of everybody. Well, it's, it's just stop. Tim, there's, ups, there's more. Let them have the New Hampshire way. We're happy to stay here. We'll get up We're happy to Please. This is an open meeting. You you oh, said we could come a, here and talk. Like this is a public event. This is how they get educated. They won't get educated upstairs. Dude, I don't know what you... You, what you act like question? you're trying to hide something, man. Tim, what's your question? Yeah, why don't you ask a direct question? They're very, they're very I transparent. I want to see if you agree Tim. with this statement that the legally binding contract is, is, is the is the head of all the cops in Tim. Oh, so so he walks away because he. Well, he's the head of the project. Uh, he's so the head of the project and he walks uh, away? I'm, I'm, Are you well, kidding me? No, he's, he's my project manager. Okay. I'm, I'm the executive director. He's my project manager. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm the one that is, you know, overseeing uh, the office. So, it's, so this is the, you're asking the right person uh, well, questions. So okay. did, well, why are I asking you and you said you had a different interpretation. So, I, I, but I, and your, so your interpretation is when you don't think the words but will not be limited to, you don't think that's an open-ended contract. I don't know what you're referring to specifically. Oh, okay. I'll read, I'll read it again. This is this is sure. This is part of the HUD continuation sheet. Yeah. It's page three of the of the yeah. grant sheet. Okay. Yeah. It says anticipate. Who put all this? These hours in there. Uh, I did. So, oh, okay. so so I, all right. I don't know for sure then that that's the real piece. But what do you want to How about we look it up on no, our cell phone? No, 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 you no, want to do that? No, no, not at all. I, just, I can I bring just it up on my cell phone if you want. Is this public? And this final uh, chart over here is the timeline for the development of the Lakes Region Plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, each one of the sections that are noted on that second board are <laughs> laid out here. If people sign up, 
if they sign up at a station that they're interested in being wanting to be involved uh, in, in reading and uh, providing information, they can sign up tonight. We're asking them. This is another public involvement thing, you know, that we're trying to get at the open house event. At the end of the day, all that information will be reviewed. It will be uh, distributed to the people who are going to adopt the plan are the Lakes Region Planning Commissioners, the Regional Planning Commissioners. The regional Planning Commissioners are appointed by the boards of selectmen in each one of our communities. And that's all according to state statute. Okay. So does, does this help coordinate our state and, and regional plans? Does it help coordinate them at least? Like there is, there is a state uh, master plan, correct? There, there's not, there's not a state master. Plan. Is there a coordinated development plan or something there's, like there's, that? The state is supposed to have a a, a, a plan of development, but it's the, that has not happened. Does it help coordinate the regional help, master it would, it would plans? Help, it would help inform a state. All the nine regions working together mm -hmm. will help inform the, the, the creation of the state development plan. Okay. I'm looking at the uh, technical components of the regional plan. I'm looking at the last two, natural hazards and climate change impact. Yes. Energy, Upstairs. energy Upstairs. efficiency and green building. Just reading those two components, wouldn't it be fair to say that this is a left-wing agenda? Uh, you know, that's for you to decide. I, well, I, I think I, just I, reading I, the titles, uh, I've already decided but that. We are looking for, we're looking for responses to that upstairs. Mm -hmm. So if you want to write that down, we'll capture that. I mean, there are two things right out of the left wing tell, handbook. T telling me right now is le much less effective than it is writing it down upstairs. Well, we're, we're going putting to go it upstairs, upstairs too. It's much more effective to put it down and write it. Can I ask you a question? So, uh, yes, sir. There's a uh, re, uh, there's on page 15 of the sub document. It's called the Rating that Factor Narrative. The HUD 1044. They have well, it's busy. Well, let me just tell me what your reaction is to this. It says there has a, there's a strategy there in that document about addressing barriers in accomplishing the objectives of this plan. And it, one of, and it says here one of the steps in the revisioning planning process to be used by each region will be to identify existing and potential barriers to ensuring sustainable communities and to articulate the strategies the regions will use to mitigate and overcome each barrier. Anticipated barriers include New Hampshire's, listen to this, strong tradition of individual property rights and the resultant resistance to planning and Where is this from? I mean, where's the, that statement the from? The rating factor narrative on page 15 of the sub-document of 1044. Well, he doesn't know anything about the 1044. Well, I'm asking That's him to respond to that. I mean, that tells me, every, I don't need to know yeah, anything Jordan. else One about this program. One question follows up on what Tim, the other general, was saying. I think what he was trying to get at, in listening to this here, for me, we have HUD, we have Nashua, and we have the planning boards, right? The planning commissions, right? So, Nashua has signed this contract with the HUD. Now there's money coming down from the federal government, $3 million or something like that, right? right? Now that money gets dispersed out to the planning commission so they can do some of the things you need to do in your job, right? Right. So if that's happened, I think the, the question is, do you know, based on the documents you've seen and the work you've done, does the taking of the money obligate any planning commission, be it Lakes Region or anywhere on the state, to then s sign on board to what Nash was doing, and then whatever comes down from HUD, federal government, saying these are things that have to be in the plan, these are things you have to do, is can that occur? No. And that I think is the, uh, I what I hear that's overall that's is the concern is because, because, we end up signing because. on to something, we have some great ideas locally, right? Yep, and you say, yep. yeah, it'd be great to do here, here, and here, but now you just find yourself with, whether it be transportation issues, housing issues, what, whatever the issue may be, being told by the federal government, this is the way you're going to do it. And then the question comes, is it become an unfunded mandate? Can we afford as a region to do everything that HUD may say, this is what you got to do if you're in the plan? And you have assigned a contract, so obviously, if you, if you, I haven't read it, but if you are a sub-grantee, you are bound up in that somehow, okay? So what happens when we take the money and we sign on? Is the federal government going to be able to come in and tell you guys, Good plan, but now do this, 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 and this. 
the answer only, is yes. All you have to do is look at what happened in Westchester County. And yes, who's right? Who's, I mean, just go look at the Westchester you, County. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I heard that's well, I what you were saying. I can also yeah. hear the uh, overall concern. Yeah. It's really about, it's one thing to say, okay, Let me tell you what's going to happen. Yeah, let me, there, yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen. Well, go what's going to happen is that we all took the money, all the RPCs, and we're developing our regional plans. And okay. those regional plans will eventually be adopted by the regional planning commission, regional okay. planning uh, commissioners. All right. That will be an advisory document. That is an advisory document for the communities to use in developing their own individual plans or whatever, the, whatever, yep, whatever the hell the they want to use. That's that part of it. There, the plan when we develop our plan according to the New Hampshire statute, our public involvement process and everything that we receive will help and develop and guide that. That's why we're doing all this. No, no I understand that. But then the so, question is, so you have your plan. Let's we say have we're down plan, the road. We, you have your advisory it. plan. Do, yeah, does, done, do you get done obligated our job. by the We've government? done our job. It's uh, game over. So game we just over. take the money and you use it develop a plan our, do, do and that's it? Plan. And we'll have no, well, no obligations no, to the we federal government. We, we want projects to come out of it that's going to be good for the region. Right. That's but why we're going to decide what those, with you. those projects are. Yes, that's the question. The, the is it us or the federal government? It'll be the region. Us. Us meaning people here in the Lakes region. I mean like voters us or us meaning the planning commission? The, the, the planning. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, look at the statute. I don't mean to sound snotty. No, 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 no. Because it's a good question. We, 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 this is a, a representative democracy. Okay. And the commission is set up in a representative way. All right. Just the same way our, we have a representative democracy, the planning commissions. Except you're uh, appointed, correct? Correct. Not some of them. We're, are we're, 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 okay. the, the, all of all of the all of the right, they're appointed officials that uh, okay. that uh, that are the main stakeholders from all the communities. Those folks, and I think they're I don't know what their current number is, about 50 of them, uh, are going to uh, uh, adopt the, the regional plan. Okay, in December of. Uh, January 2015, or plan adoption. Where, where are the years? We're right over here. Right no, here. There's no year. Yeah, there's 14, 15. Okay, cool. 14, so, 15, what? 2014. Well, where did it say 2000? Oh, I well, thought that was the date. No, 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 no. That's Those are all years. So by by the yeah, 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 okay. yeah. by the by the 2014 question, early early uh, 20, 2015 that will be adopted yeah. and that will be our plan and that's it, game over. Okay, but I guess then. What makes me a little nervous, to be honest, mm -hmm. is some of the things that are these technical components, they make me nervous even hearing the buzzwords. I'm sorry, but it does. Uh, like the gentleman there. I mean, buzzwords green building, there. all that means to me is dollar bills just floating up and out. and. You know, some of the other stuff I've read as far as, you know, equity and um, with uh, people that, that haven't been getting, you know, a fair shake over the years, they're going to have priorities or they're going to, you know, as far as housing and transportation and this and that. And I just look at Meredith, because that's where I'm from, and I'm thinking, how are we going to, you know, it's great to get free money from the government, which is us, and uh, well, I'm, I'm saying that facetiously, um, but it, it it just always comes with this price, and it's this slippery slope, and and and, and I know some of the um, people that are involved, or the, the groups that are involved in some of this stuff, they make me nervous. I don't think like they do, and so I'm just wondering, where do... Where do we, the people, get to put a little bit of brakes on you, the very hardworking planning commission that's going to decide how our town is going to be developed in the future and what we're going to be ha liable for? Okay. We're, we're, again, we're, we're not writing local master plans. We're writing a regional plan, uh, okay. and that's an advisory, an advisory document. If you are like to know what, how you can get involved in whatever topic that it concerns you the most, and if it's the housing, the housing or whatever, the climate change, natural hazards, whatever you're interested in, go to the display station. Right. We've been chewing up a lot of time yep. here. This yep. is over in 45 minutes, folks. Yep. Um, that, uh, and sign up. Sign, put your name down and say you are interested in being, a, uh, being involved with that. And you'll be involved no, in reviewing care. what's put forth and be able to share your ideas with everybody else that's involved. Okay? Mm -hmm. And 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 that would be a great way 
to become much better acquainted with the terms. You might get more, un just a better understanding Clarity, sure, of them. Sure. Okay, and you can form an another opinion about about it. But uh, that, Sally, is the best way. Okay. Can I ask you one more question? Sure. These technical components are they required? Technical? Or are these just examples that you've just put out no, here? We're, we're that are this we're, part we're, of we're the now, plan? We've, we've narrowed it down pretty much to say that we're going to cover these main, main so these in notes. your plan. We're, yes, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll have them covered in our okay. plan. So All right, it is so I'll a left-wing left left agenda, obviously. Yes. So okay, is, thank you. Is this the federal? Who's going to pay for all this? Uh, like I said about 45 minutes ago, you. Uh, 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 we received we will. Uh, the funding uh, from Hodge. So the federal government will be big. He's not both so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just like, just like our, our local our leaders. plans. It's all, all, all public sector planning is paid for by public sector dollars. Excuse me, do you really believe you would get HUD money and they leave you alone? What? Do you really believe if you get HUD money they're going to leave you well, alone? It depends on what I sign up to do, Vince. You know, it depends, well, on what the, it depends on what's on the document. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know that, that makes all the difference. Well, but the, but it's the, the, the document. You think? But you think HUD is ever going to leave you to do your own thing? Do you really they, think? They, they just did. They did? Yeah. What this is? This yeah, because they haven't paid you anything yet. They want you to push no, their agenda, been, though. We're, we're working on this.